Welcome back to another episode of On Shape. Today we're going to be learning how to assemble your puzzle cube using On Shape. As you can see here, we have uh, a fully formed piece. Uh, and we're also going to show you how to fill in the bill of materials table, bomb table as such, and also how to create an exploded view where you see your puzzle cube uh, stretched out. So we come down here, create assembly, if you don't have a blank assembly tab open. And we need to first insert all our parts. So what we do is click once on each of the parts. And green check mark here. Then come over to the instances list on the left. And right click on that first part and let's fix it. And <clears throat> the reason we do that is so that our cube doesn't move around. And so that it's lined up nicely uh, for an nice isometric view and we're ready to do that. And now you can spread your parts out. Now let's zoom out a little bit. Spread these parts out. And the way Onshape connects parts is using what's called mates. And these mates are all up here. You can see where my mouse is. And uh, notice that some of them allow types of motion. Well, the puzzle cube is a static assembly, meaning that nothing moves. So we're only going to use one mate for this, called a fastened mate, right there. And so let's click on that. And the way a fastened mate works is <clears throat> use like a Lego. You select a point, right? Say this uh, upper left corner, and the corresponding point and face on the um, on the other part, and it snaps them together and locks them together as such. So we are going to select, we got a fast mate, we're going to hover over this face and I want this upper left corner. Now notice it unhighlights the face and switches to something if I hover there long enough, uh, which we don't want it to do. We want this face to be uh, connected to the other one. So hold down the shift key, that way it doesn't unselect that face and Click that corner. And notice over here it appears um, the correct corner. Now, uh, let's go down here to the purple piece. And we want uh, this corner right here. So I'll hold down Shift and select that. And notice it puts them right next to each other, but they're facing the same direction. I want these this face and this face to be facing towards each other. So I'm going to reverse the direction. And now they're facing each other, but it's not rotated, so I'm going to rotate it, and that's the correct orientation. So I'm going to green check mark there. Now I'm going to repeat this. I want this face in that corner there to be connected to this face in that corner there. And again, I need to reverse and rotate this into place. Green check mark. Right, and then I need this face, the, and it's, I un, I can unclick. Again, I need to flip, and that's the correct orientation that I want. And then finally, I have this one right here. So I can select the middle, and that's not what I want. So you see I've got the cube ready to go. So let's go back to the front view. So now I need to uh, finish the bomb table. Notice I have one less fasten mate than I do assembly, uh, then parts. Okay, so come over to the BOM table. And I don't need the part number column, so I can 
move my mouse up to the header and remove that. And then um, to uh, fill in the description, I hover over it and it highlights the part. Notice this is the brown part, so I just type that in. And then same thing, I hover over that uh, row and it highlights the part that corresponds to that row. And then for the exploded view, to add that, add exploded view, and uh, I click on a side uh, in the direction that I want it to move. So this one, I'm going to click on the top because I want it to go up. Click on that, and notice this trigram appears. And I'm going to click this down arrow, and I can move it up. And then green check mark. Uh, this red one, I'm going to move to the right. Green check mark, green one. I'm going to move that forward. Check mark, brown one. I'm going to move it to the left. And green check mark. And notice, um, I'll go to the isometric view. It looks pretty good, although that yellow probably could be, or the brown could be moved a little bit further. So I'm going to double click and edit that stuff and stretch it out just a bit further there. Accept that. Um, and the green one is it step three, so I can double click that and I'm going to stretch that out a little bit further there. And the red, I'm going to double click step two and stretch that out further. There we go. So now I've got my parts. Let me move that purple up a little bit further. And that is the exploded view and bomb cable.